What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a 2-in-1 WWE Ultimate Edition review on the brand new Ultimate Edition Series 12 Alexa Bliss and the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, it's absolutely insane. We're still getting Bray Wyatt figures after he's been gone for so long. And, you know, he's supposedly released. I guess he actually is released. But the whole deal, that always confused me how they said Bray Wyatt and they didn't say, you know, Wyndham Rotunda or his real name or anything like that. Usually, they, they bring us the real name, right? Or at least I feel like they do. Maybe they don't. Anyways, you guys can see here Alexa Bliss and The Fiend. These both have something to do with each other. They were both characters involved with each other for a very long time. Alexa Bliss still coming around. The Fiend has not been on TV in forever. But we have another Ultimate Edition of him. This is our second Ultimate Edition. We got some new stuff going on. I wanted to do these reviews separately, but with timing and different things like that, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. So we are going to knock it out two in one right here. Should be pretty fun stuff. But as you guys can see, you get a plethora of accessories with the Alexa Bliss figure, and you get a nice little deal here with The Fiend as well. We're going to get into all the things. I do have my gripes about this one in particular, which we're going to get into. When we first saw images of this guy, I was not on the I was not on the wagon. I was kind of like iffy about it. I was kind of like, what's going on with this guy? Something seems off about this guy. We'll dive into the details and find those things out. But Alexa Bliss is looking damn good over here. This may be one of the better Ultimate Edition women's figures we've seen so far. Maybe she could compete with Ronda Rousey. You know, I don't, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but it's possible. Nonetheless, guys, here's a front viewing windows. On the side, you do have a beautiful image of the Fiend and Alexa Bliss right there. Very nice makeup and stuff going on with those. On the back, you get a beautiful images of the figures and the characters themselves. So Alexa Bliss here, the Fiend over there. Little bios and stuff over there. And little bios at the bottom that I'm not going to read. On the side, you got their names again. You got all the Ultimate Edition and WWE logos going on. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But what we're going to do is crack these guys out of the packaging, find out all their details, cover all their accessories, tell you guys what exactly you get with both of these, and get in all the things, man. So with all that being said, let's shut the hell up and dive into Alexa Bliss and the Fiend Bray Wyatt's Ultimate Edition Series 12 figures. And here's Alexa Bliss and The Fiend out of their packaging. I apologize for the lighting and stuff. I'm still playing with some settings on my camera and stuff. Trying to fix that exposure type setting where, like, you know, where I try to put my hand on the screen to, like, affect the exposure. It seems to be okay right now, but sometimes it just likes to blow out, especially when there's, like, some darker colors, like the Fiend's chesticles there and everything he's got going on. On darker characters, Undertaker, things like that, the exposure just, like, blows it out of the water sometimes. So I've tried to play around with the camera trying to get that to fix. I think I've got it under control. We'll see how the review goes. I don't know. You know, the different settings and stuff. Hopefully, it doesn't F the whole video up. But what we're going to do is take a closer look at Alexa Bliss's accessories and Alexa Bliss. Then we'll take it back and look at the Fiend's accessories and the Fiend. Get into all the comparisons and find out if these two Ultimate Editions are worth a damn. Are they crappy or are they somewhere in between, man? We're going to find out together. So, and we're also not going to do like a My Damn Thoughts episode on these Ultimate Editions like this unless I want to recap like 10 of them at a time or 5 of them at a time or something like that. But, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the details of Alexa Bliss and the Fiend. All right, guys, so getting into Alexa. Alexa Bliss's accessories starting out first. I guess we can get into the head sculpts. That's kind of one of the meat and potatoes of this thing. So you do have like the pigtail smiley face head and I think they did a really good job here. I think the likeness is pretty damn good. You know, I think the eye makeup could probably be a little bit more accurate but at the end of the day, I think it looks like Alexa Bliss a lot. I think it captures the likeness. You got the nice swoop down there. Thought about putting like a, I don't know, like a light brown wash or something in there just to get like the details but at the end of the day, you got the blonde hair, you got the ombre. It all looks good. I think it looks just like her. So I mean, that's all you can really ask for. Then we have the uh, you know, the demon possessed or crazy Alexa Bliss head sculpt with the dark makeup here. And I think they could have went darker on the makeup as far as like the eye and the lipstick there. But I like the change in the hair. You got the ombre again with the pink ties and everything. Looks pretty daggum good. Uh, yeah, I got the little black smudge off there. But I, I've noticed that a lot of people have had smudges on their on their figures or on their head sculpts and it hasn't lined up completely. But mine, I think, looks a lot cleaner than others I've seen. So that is really, really nice. Outside of that, we do have our hands over here. You got your gloved hands and they are... They are mic holding hands. You got like the studs on there. You got the white. You got the white nail polish, and then you have the pain and play hands for mic ha holding hands or weapon holding hands. And then we do have our salute slash posy hands slash high five hands slash whatever the hell you want to call it. But same thing. You got the play and pain on there in the white with the studs. White nail polish going. All look good. So that that all is good for me. You also have a black shirt, which we will take a look at what these shirts look like on the figure in a, in a, just a moment. We'll see which side looks good with which. You know, and do 
the interchangeable head sculpts and stuff like that but here's the black shirt it is cloth and you know it has the velcro on the back and you also get the hot pink so you get the hot pink version for the, like the you know the smiley go lucky alexa then you have the black for the demon alexa or the crazy alexa there and then at the end of the day this is probably the money accessory of the whole set and i'm talking bray wyatt and alexa bliss this is her little mini dress here with the little silhouette there little emoji painted on there you got the paint splatter in black pink and white it looks insane you got the velcro on the back i do not look forward to putting this on the figure i feel like it's going to be a pain in the butt because none of this unhooks so you just get that velcro there so you're gonna have to like piece it on there and take your time with it uh, i honestly I, I don't know i have the figure right here i guess the best thing to do i'll show a quick demonstration i guess the best thing to do would be put the arms up and then run this up through you know your your cuffs here and then you're going to want to make sure that that first crossbar or this little crossbar in the back goes through the neck peg right there so put you know push the this is definitely a pain in the ass though i'll be honest with you if this had butterfly joints it'd probably be a lot easier but you know you just shove it over that and then pull that through and that's how you would do it but you got to do it with the t-shirt on there so that'll be interesting but there it is without the t-shirts but that's how you put that on but it's a great accessory it feels good in the hand it looks very quality it feels very high quality and that's all you can really ask for all right guys so starting out at the top of the head sculpt with the alexa bliss figure we will take a look at what it looks like in both get-ups you know from the accessories that we saw you know i, I didn't want to do it in the flow there but we'll show what that looks like in just a moment but i do like this head sculpt we covered that a little bit in the accessories there but i think the likeness is there i saw on some people's head sculpts they didn't look as clean as this so i'm really happy that mine looks really clean you got like that pink hue coming through in the dark makeup i honestly feel like they could have went darker around the eyes and the lips because if you look on the side of the packaging over here look at that she has like really dark lipstick and really dark eye makeup so i think they could have went solid black there i may you know look into that but you do have this upper top here you got the cross over there it's just black and silver and white not a ton of details going on but we do have the double jointed arms they are pinless i love the white gloves you got the white glove with the pain written on there in black you got the white nail polish and then on the other side we do have the play side which is pretty cool man i think they nailed it this is excellent going down into the bottom same deal you know you got the the stockings or the leggings going on gets a little bit you know misconstrued right here like the pattern doesn't line up all the way but it, you really can't tell when you're far off black and white striped knee pads kind of look like adidas there you got the sock mold i guess the long sock mold there that kind of looks like kick pads to be honest with you but the shoes are really cool the only thing i'll say is they are a bit oversized in my opinion you got play right there you got the nice light blue color going on nice details on the shoes i mean is this copyright infringement bro that looks like billy the puppet from saw i mean that's clearly what that is at least it looks just like it nonetheless you have the pain on the other side of the shoe there so you have your pain shoe and your play shoe just like the gloves and i like it man the figure feels great in the hand it's it's fantastic honestly like you get the splits there you get you know full kick forward you get the upper thigh cut you do get double jointed knees you get a great ankle rocker down here toe pivot boot rotation you get the double jointed arms you know where she can literally go behind the neck there i mean dude this figure can do it all she doesn't have butterfly joints which is interesting but you know the ab crunch isn't going to be the best because it's a women's mattel figure but the rest of the articulation is great except maybe the head the head's not the best you just get a rotation there but figure feels pretty good in hand and she does have like this jiggle thing that i absolutely hate that is just dreadful honestly it has like my oscar figure had this where you like barely shake it and it so I hate that, but I do like the figure a lot. That is, uh, this is a pretty damn good figure. It's just, the uh, I hate that little shakiness that we got going on. All right, guys, so here's the Alexa Bliss in her full getup right here, and I, I think it looks fantastic. You guys can see that wobbling still. Like, look at that. I'm just shifting it, and she's doing a little dancey dance. But you guys get the deal there. It looks amazing, honestly. Like, in, in the full getup, I think it looks really good. I think, you know, the overalls or the, I always say overalls for some dumb reason. It's because the top part reminds me of overalls, but it's really like a little mini dress or a little sundress or skirt dress i don't know what the hell the proper name for it is but i like the way it looks i think it you know the head to bottom top to bottom the ombre and the hair flowing with the pink and black and white all contrast really nice but this is what it looks like in the full get up there so i did want to show you guys that real quick and, and do a zoom in shot so you so say you get you know the full detailed look of not only the figure in the get up but also in the regular gear but that looks pretty damn cool man i think this looks pretty damn sweet so i, I like the way it looks we'll also do a look at what the black shirt looks like but this this is pretty sweet I, I'm pretty impressed with it. I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. It moves really well. I mean, the figure's not without fault, but in the get-up, man, I mean, this is sweet. This is what you should get out of an Ultimate Edition. Really nice stuff on display here, and I, I like it a lot. And here's a shot of the Alexa Bliss in the blackness, you know, in the in the black shirt with the black and all the different stuff going on. So you get a little different. I mean, you don't even have to put the black shirt with this head sculpt. I mean, you could use this, or you could pop this off, and you could go with the happy-go-lucky Alexa Bliss. So you can have two different options there. Either one of them looks pretty 
pretty badass. Another thing I thought of is if you got a couple Elite 82s Alexa Blisses, you can get some of these hands right here and put these, like, uh, skull finger hands in there with the black nail polish and create your own little fix-ups there. So, plenty of interchangeability going on with these, but I like the way the Alexa Bliss looks with the, either a tire on. I think the pink one is the more fire one, you know? You gotta get some, you know, some pink in there for MD MDT, but at the end of the day, not too shabby. And for your Alexa Bliss figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 82, the Ultimate Edition, the Fan Takeover, uh, or the Fan Central, right, I think, or is it the Survivor Series figure? I think it's the Survivor Series with a head swap, and then we have the Elite 53 with a head swap that I really, really like. So, I like all these Alexa Blisses. I, I've always thought that all of her figures are pretty damn good. Her basics are pretty god-awful, but what women's basic isn't pretty god-awful, you know, to be honest with you, but I like all these. I like the head sculpts on all these. They, she always has a pretty good head sculpt, even the Elite 53, which, you know, is basically this, but a worse version. You know, I think they've done a really excellent job on Alexa Bliss. They've done a really good job. I remember her first basic releasing and me dropping like 25 on it on eBay when her first basic came out from NXT just so I could have it for my Rumble predictions and things like that. And now fast forward where we've gotten, it's kind of insane. But I'm really happy to, to slowly grow the Alexa Bliss collection. Uh, you know, all of her figures do look good. All right, guys, here's the Fiend's accessories. And to be honest with you, pretty boring compared to Alexa Bliss, right? I mean, you don't have a lot of stuff going on here. We do have like the little base right here for the figure, which we'll get into in just a moment. But for this figure, you get your two interchangeable head sculpts. You get your jacket piece. You get your two pairs of interchangeable arms. And then you, I don't know why I said arms, for the hurt and the heel. And then you get the, you know, the flat hands that we've seen and the mic holding hands. I'm not even going to get into the hands because we've seen them so many damn times. But we are going to get into these head sculpts. And this one looks pretty damn wicked, bro. This one looks pretty damn good. I like the way this looks. I love the way the hair looks. I like the way that the, like, the meanness of the face sculpt. I like the way that this looks a lot. I think it's dope. I think it has that, like, new sculpt going on. This is a new sculpt. This isn't repeated or anything, but I like the way it looks. It's more, it's way bigger than the previous Fiend. And he's got, like, that sharper jaw that he had at WrestleMania 37, so there's that. But I like this head sculpt a lot. I think it has a lot of great things going on with it, and it looks really good. So I, I'm impressed with that one. Then we also have this version, which, again, it kind of has, like, a more, like, a meaner look to it. I don't know. It just had something about WrestleMania 37. Now, I will say, like, they went a bit light on the red. I think it could add some more red there, but I love the way the hair looks again. I do want to see what these head sculpts look like on the older Fiends, just to see what they look like, but I am really digging the way these sculpts look. I think they look fantastic, like I said. So, here's your two different versions. I like both a lot. I like the mouth open version, and I like the mouth kind of smiling at you there. They're both menacing. They both look terrifying, and that's all we really care about, and they both look like the Terrifier. I think that's what it was called. Nonetheless, if you guys want to put the jacket accessory on there, it'll go on just like so. It's got its buckles and, you know, sculpts and leather stuff all going on here, and then you'll just plug in your jacket arms, and he'll have his jacket on. So, you can, you know, you just plug that in, and then bam, you got your, your fiend and jacket, and then you also have the removable arms, which are just long sleeve, kind of like, I don't know, freaking, I don't know, it reminded me of like a bulletproof vest. Yeah, like a bulletproof vest, and then these like sculpted arms on there, which are pretty cool, you know, they are what they are, but, you know, here's the figure in its entirety. We're gonna take a look at what the figure looks like, you know, just a moment with everything going on, with the head sculpted and all, but that's pretty much for his accessories. We've seen this with the last Ultimate Edition. You got some nice sculpts going on. I don't really care for this jacket interchangeable feature, but I don't know. I, I, I'd rather have a cloth jacket, but at the same time, you know, it gets the job done, I guess. So getting into the Fiend head sculpt, we already covered it a little bit there, man, but it's just so much bigger than it was. I, I swear it is. We're gonna take a comparison look in just a moment. We're going down into the chesticle. We've seen this before. Or we saw this at WrestleMania 37. We haven't seen this before, but he had like this bulletproof vest on. Now, it doesn't really give it a vest feel. It kind of looks like he's just wearing a long sleeve shirt or something. And I apologize for the weirdness and the contrast and the exposure. So it's it, like when I zoom in, it gets all bright and weird. But you guys will notice that you do have this decent little ab crunch going on with this weird torso that he's got with the body armor or whatever. And then uh, it kind of looks like the Burnt Fiend brought back to life. Like if you took the Burnt Fiend and then, you know, didn't do all the burntness, this is kind of what he would look like. So I guess that was the whole point of it. But underneath there, you got some red stitching going on. It's got some good stuff going on. I, th I don't think, I don't know, it might be. We'll do, we'll do a comparison shot but this might be the exact same torso or not the exact same but it may be a, a version of the burnt fiend torso but you do have these nice ripples going on and everything not the arms but i think this torso is similar to the elite fiend burnt fiend that is you do have your crotch here no sculpted on belt or anything but i like the way these sculpts look on here i believe this is the same sculpt as all our other fiends but i could be mistaken the colors look good the boots look really nice this is not the same boots we've gotten i like these boots actually pretty good i like they're like the boots without the covers on them so I think that's pretty cool. I, li I like the red and the black and everything going on with them. I don't know. It's, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the Alexa, Bl Alexa Bliss has, but I still like the figure for some reason, man. It's just, it's really impressive. It feels good in the hand.
and everything. We are going to get into some care. We are going to get into some figure comparisons right now because I got to see what this figure looks like up next to the rest of our Elite Ultimate Fiend collections. So for your free figure comparisons, guys, here's the Elite 77 all the way here. You got the Ultimate Edition. You got the Elite 86 slash top picks pretty much. And then we do have the new Ultimate Edition on the right. We also have the Burnt Fiend over here, which you guys can see their similarities. Kind of crazy all the different Fiend figures we have now with Bray Wyatt and everything. But I just, I think I like this one better because the head sculpt just looks more put together. But I don't know, man. It's just really hard to gauge, honestly. But here's the last one. Uh, you guys can see the newer one is... I don't know. They're pretty much just the same height. That's pretty disappointing, honestly. But the legs don't look as stumpy lumpkins. I guess they don't look as stumpy because of the boots. The boots kind of create, like, this optical illusion. I think these are the exact same leg sculpt. Like, I'm not getting anything different here, but this one just looks deceptively taller for some reason. And I do want to see what this head sculpt looks like over here, just so I know I'm not crazy. So we're gonna pop this onto here, just to kind of see what we got going on. And I still like that better. That just looks mean, man. I like the way that looks a lot. So, I don't know, man. You can play around with your different head sculpts and stuff like that. The exposure is pissing me off still. I don't know why it wants to do this. It's because of all the black and darkness on the screen there. Kind of taking over, but I like this fiend the most, I think. Or is it this fiend? Yeah, I think I like this fiend the most. I think. I'm not for certain. Maybe it's the head. I don't know. It's a different take and I enjoy it, alright? But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 review of the Ultimate Edition Series 12 Fiend and Alexa Bliss figures, man. I actually like both of these quite a lot, actually. Uh, diving into all the details, man. Man, I, I had a ton of fun reviewing them, and I, I honestly underestimated them. I thought that the Alexa Bliss would be solid, and she's not without issues whatsoever, right? Like, both of them have their issues, which we've discussed here today, but at the same time, I really do like the Alexa Bliss a lot. I think that the, the likeness and the head sculpts is really nice. I love the double-jointed arms. I love the cloth accessories we're getting. My only gripes with the Alexa Bliss is that little leg shaky thing that I showed you guys. Also, the shoe size. The shoe size is definitely too big, and I think that... Uh, so, some of those things could have been better. And I think the attire, you know, the black attire isn't the most exciting, but it does fit the character, right? It fits the character. And I just like it. I think the likeness is perfection. I think it looks just like her, honestly. The cloth accessories are fantastic. And just the accessibility. I will say the accessibility, trying to get the overalls or the dress, the overthrow dress right there, whatever the hell you want to call that thing. It's like a mini dress, I guess, or a skirt dress. It's kind of hard to get onto the figure. I will say that as well. But at the end of the day, man, I love all the interchangeability. I like the hands. I like the posability. Really Really fun figure. I think, you know, if I could ever get the damn pick fed back off the ground, I think Alexa Bliss would be added to that women's division immediately because that figure is so fun. So, let's we'll see what happens. I do like the Fiend figure a lot. I think it's a very big upgrade from his first figure. I like this Fiend Ultimate Edition a lot. I think the head is a bit oversized, maybe, or it's a little bit too big, but I do like the hair sculpt. I like what we got going on with the coloration and stuff. I do like this better than the first go around. I think I do. I know you do get, you know, your tattoos and stuff like that. We got some new molds with that one. However, this is probably my favorite Fiend figure I think we've received, and that could be some recency bias, but I don't know. That's just the vibe I'm getting, right? And I, I wish he would have came with his mallet accessory, but at the end of the day, I'm really enjoying these, and I think you guys will also enjoy them. If you want to pick these up, use code MDTOYS over at Ringside Collectibles. Do not use code free ship. I'm telling you right now, use code MDTOYS. Use priority shipping. It's the best way to go, man. I promise you, it is the best way to go. USPS usually flies that thing out there, even though I've had so many delays lately for some reason. I don't know what the deal is there, but I enjoy these figures. I think you will too. Go over to Ringside Collectibles and grab them. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to finish up our AEW match tomorrow. We'll probably get the full set review of the Dark Order and everything in there. And then we're going to probably either do surgery, my damn thoughts on Unmatched Series 3, and maybe some other stuff. So we'll get into all those things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And don't cross the line. Like, I don't know, WWE for getting rid of Bray Wyatt. You cross the line.